Hello and welcome to the 13th C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. As I um, as I assume I told you last time, today's tutorial is going to be on um, using parameters in your functions. And um, I don't know if you noticed anything, but I'm sick of always, you know, shifting computers from my um, own computer to a laptop. So I decided to uh, make all of my tutorials from now on on my own computer. I don't know if the keyboard will make any like very loud noises or anything, but um, hey, if you want my explanation of things, you just gotta live, live with it. So um, yep, first of all, create a new source file. And um, enter the required information. Shit, man, I can't even talk to me. Okay, now you're going to prototype a new function. The function or the data type of the function we're going to use is a uh, int. So type int. Um, I suppose this one is going to be called x parameter. Type two of these um, parameters right here. Now inside the two parameters, you type int x. So now, um, your uh, uh, function right here, x parameter, has one parameter, and that's uh, x, and you know, the data type of, um, of the parameter we're using in this um, function is int. If you uh, change this to string x, the data type would be string, but we're using int. Now you create a new int again. You call it a x value. Set it equal to um. Let's see. Uh, actually, it doesn't need a value. Now down here again, we're going to uh, declare the x parameter function. And when you declare it, just as you know, um, the data type has to be the same in the declaration as the prototype. So as the name and the function or oh, the parameter has to have or ah oh, sorry the function has to have the same parameters as the prototype when the function is being declared just as the declaration has to have the same data type as the prototype and the name has to be the same in the declaration as the prototype so we have to type in x down here too and an opening and closing bracket now we type something like um, uh, x value equal to x. Okay, so what we actually do right here is that first of all we declare a oh, prototype, sorry, a function called x parameter, and it has one parameter, and that's int x. Then we create a um, global variable right here. I believe I told you what global variables are last time. And um, if not, actually I can't remember, so I guess I'll just tell you right now. And uh, yep, sorry if I already told you, but I can't remember. And uh, I really don't want to set this video on pause just to check that, so I'd rather take that 10 seconds of explanation. A global variable is if the variable is being declared um, outside of any functions, you know. Outside, if it would have been declared in here, in x value it would have been a local variable but we don't um, you know we don't um, create it or declare it in any methods so it's a um, global variable and global variables the difference between global and local variables are that a global variable can be used in all functions you know I can use the name x value in main and in uh, x parameter but if I declare it int x value inside this function right here it would be a local variable and then it would only be able to be used in the main function 
then if you type x and then if you use the variable x value in something like you know this this uh, function right here x parameter um, you will get some error that you cannot find x because it's local variable of main so that's your real quick explanation of um, global and local variables so um, yep let's get right to the declaration down here so um, here we uh, declare this um, function right here x parameter and it has one parameter and that's int x and then we say that the x value has no value so far that's what we assign down here is equal to x and x has no value so far either so actually x can have any value and then also we're going to um, actually we're going to change the data type of um, x parameter to void and of course we need to do that down here too now you cre create a new uh, int a function we're gonna call it a get x it doesn't require any parameters now down here you declare it int get x now it's like return x or actually get x value So now you know all of this int will do is that it will return the value of x value and you know the ver the ver the, 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 the value of x value is the value of x and x can be anything. So basically this returns any value. That sounds kind of confusing. So we're going to do it right here. Now you type see out actually first of all you type x parameter and now you don't type int x you type something like um we're gonna take 500 because that's one of my favorite numbers i don't know why it's just a nice equal number so yep 500 now the value of this uh, int right here int x is 500 so when you call the method and if it has a parameter, uh, the uh, the value or the thing you type in between the parameters up here in the uh, call is going to be the value of that parameter. So now the value of x is 500. So now we type um, c out get x value. Now let's try and compile around it. We're going to save this in our nice little folder here. We're going to save it as um, parameters. And as you see, it says 500. And now, why is that? That's because, uh, first of all, we prototype these two functions right here. One, uh, just you know, kind of ignore this uh, get x value thing because you know what it does already. But I'm going to explain this x parameter function one more time. It has the data type void, the name is x parameter, it takes one parameter, and that's uh, int x. Then down here, when you declare it, you say that x value is e and you know, x value is just a global variable that has no value so far, is equal to x and we define the value of x up here and then you know actually what we're doing is that we define a new value to x and then we make it print out the x value that it got and the x value that it got is 500 because we type 500 up here, up here so if you type 13 here try and compile and run it it'll say 13 um, I don't know if I got it, this explained well enough, but uh, I suppose this is the best way I can explain it. So if you didn't, uh, you know, quite catch it, or caught it, I don't know, um, then you um, can probably just, you know, 
um, watch this tutorial again uh, or ask me the question in a um, private message or a comment or something I don't know I'll always check the comments in each and every one of my videos so um, yep I guess that's your tutorial on uh, parameters I'll see you next time